Russia and fairly heavy band of rain showers and snow all the way from the eastern portions of Montana down to western sections of Nevada. It's such a massive high, just enough rain to throw some sparks in and cause folks to get wet in the street. All right, ladies and gentlemen, chilling here on the YouTube and HealMarkets.com. We have not done a prediction show in a minute, and we are going to knock one out today. It is me, Marcus Alfred, a.k.a. Heal Marcus, a.k.a. Half Trash, Half Amazing, a.k.a. Mr. No 1v1, a.k.a. Body McBotterson, a.k.a. The worst streamer in the world. And today's prediction is for AEW Double or Nothing. Uh, the pay-per-view is going down this Sunday, uh, May 29th. They've got the buy-in. They've got a lot of matches on deck for us tonight. So it'll probably clearly go over four hours. And it's Memorial Day weekend. So you know everybody is going to be litty and enjoying this entire night. So what we're going to do here is just run through and make our predictions for each match that is listed and scheduled for tonight's show. It is, we are recording this on Sunday because we were gonna do it Saturday and then the reports came out about MJF and we didn't know if that was going to mess up the entire prediction, but we're gonna run through them regardless and hopefully everything goes according to plan. Um, starting at the top of the, uh, show, the buy end, we're going to do hook and Dan Housen taking on Tony Nese and Mark Sterling. I have no doubt in my mind that the fans are going to see hook and Dan Housen win. I think this is just a nice little setup to let uh hook get a quality win on pay-per-view again. Tony Nese gets a little bit of a, a, a viewing cause he hasn't really been showcased as much on tv so cool i uh, i didn't know mark sterling was a wrestler i just thought he was a manager for this entire time but hey kudos to him he might do something he probably won't but we'll see i'm gonna go through all the non-title matches before we get to the title matches and the tournament fi final stuff so jumping over to the next match death triangle taking on the house of black i honestly don't know Hey, uh, this one is a, a pretty much a pick em here. Um, I kind of see Death Triangle getting the win, but I kind of think that House of Black needs this win to move forward because they've kind of just been there. They've been around. They haven't really been, you know, getting that next little oomph after the Cody uh, situation and Cody left, and now you have them kind of beating up on death triangle but it just didn't feel the same so i think that hopefully they will be able to do something in my mind i think death triangle wins but i honestly logistically house of black needs the win so i'm picking house of black just off of who needs it more um Darby Allen versus Kyle O'Reilly. I think Darby's gonna win. I don't see Kyle winning. Darby is Darby needs a bounce back after the the the, the horrific ladder match uh, dive and losing in a roll up. So I think this will be his get back. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see how this goes. Kyle O'Reilly beats the crap out of people. The man can strike, so it's gonna be fun to see those those styles going at it. But I got Darby winning. Young Bucks against the Hardys. Oh my God. I, I honestly don't care. I don't. I really don't care. I'm picking the Young Bucks to win. Although it'd be weird if they won. You know what? No, screw that. I'm not taking the Young Bucks. I'm taking the Hardys. If the Hardys lose their first pay-per-view match together on AEW, then throw it, throw, throw everything I know away. Just throw it all away. I can't. I, it doesn't make any sense in the world for the hardys to lose on pay-per-view i just i i'd be i'd be surprised that someone would be that logical but all right yeah i think the young bucks will lose i'm picking the hardys 
but it's gonna be it's gonna be weird it's gonna be sloppy and it's gonna be awkward the hardies aren't the hardies that they used to be not even impact hardy like they're older they're they're pushing 50 they're, they're closer to 50 than they are at a 30 and 40. so yeah I mm, yeah it's there um, I'm picking the Hardys. It's not gonna be pretty. Just, just making that prediction. Anarchy in the arena. Jesus. Um, John Marksley, Brian Danielson, Santana Ortiz, and Eddie Kingston taking on the Jericho Appreciation Society. Nothing about the Jericho Appreciation Society would tell me that they are down for an actual fight. Like 2.0 or funny. Daniel Garcia is kind of a grappler. Jake Hager. Yeah, come on, bro. Uh, Jericho's 50 something. Come on. No, nothing about that team says I am down to throw hands in the streets. Nothing. You got Eddie Kingston who looks like I just came off the street from uh, a local bodega and I'm ready to throw hands. He looks like that guy who is at everybody's like, um, house party that, you know, he is going to probably get into a fight before this night is over. Santana and Ortiz look like they ready to throw hands at anybody. They, they are on-site dudes. On-site dudes. Moxley's crazy. The only one I'd be like, you know what, I'm not really ready for a street fight, Dane Bryant. But Moxley's crazy. Everybody else on that team, a little off. So I don't see them losing. If they lose the Anarchy in Arena, you know what, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Especially not. The Jericho Appreciation Society does not look gangster at all nothing about them screams i'm gangster and you got a 50 year old man calling himself a wizard so yeah nah fam nah if this match does happen mjf versus warlow i feel bad for warlow this situation is no longer about him this became a bigger situation and i feel like he's kind of been overshadowed i think he's going to get the win but it just sucks because the situation is no longer MJF versus Warlow anymore. And this was supposed to be the moment for him. And it just doesn't feel like that now. It doesn't, I mean, it probably will feel like that to everybody else and it'll feel like that to certain people. But certain people, like, when you hear these stories come up afterwards or before, it's just taking away from that momentum that was supposed to be for that one guy. So. I'm picking Wardlow to win. I don't see them actually changing up, and I definitely don't feel like MJF is gonna be uh, winning this one. I didn't. I didn't expect them to win from the jump, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Men of the Year and Paige Van Zandt taking on Ty Conti, Sammy Guevara, and Frankie Gazarian. Another match I could care very little about. Um. I don't even know. It's it's just weird. I just kind of want this feud to end. I yeah. Um. I don't know. Uh. I don't even know who's the bad person. <laughs> like Frankie Kazarian seems like the the substitute teacher that has just been thrown into a situation he had no clue being in. You've got Paige Van Zandt coming in after some wrestling training. Don't know if she's fully there, but we'll see. Um, Ethan Page there. I just hope Sammy doesn't do anything stupid. I mean, he's going to, but I just kind of hope he doesn't. I don't know who to pick on this one. I, honestly, I don't care. This one just here. Like, I believe it's if uh, Scorpio and them win, then Frankie and Sammy can no longer challenge for the TNT title. So I'm feeling like they're gonna, I feel like Sammy and, and Frankie are gonna win just because. I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's weird. All right, let's go to some tag. Let's go to the, let's go to some tag team title matches, but we're gonna go through all our title matches and all our uh, high ranking matches now. We've got the tag team title triple threat match, which is 
Swerve and Keith Lee and Powerhouse Hobbs and Ricky Starks challenging Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus. Now, in my heart, in my heart, I want Team Taz to win because I feel like they deserve it. They have been the punching bags of everybody that have came into this company since the beginning of time and have very little to celebrate. So I would love to see them take those tag team titles because I honestly don't care about Jurassic Express, which I thought was funny. They got rid of Jurassic Express thing completely, but uh, Swerve and Keith Lee, cool. I don't, I don't think they're gonna win it. I'd be shocked if they win it, but I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for Powerhouse and and Ricky, but I got this weird feeling. Jungle Boy and Lucy Source are gonna walk away with it, so I'm just gonna go with them. Uh, the Owen Hart Men's Tournament Finals. I believe Adam Cole is gonna beat Samoa Joe. I think uh, Jay Lethal will get involved and cost Samoa Joe the win. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, next up. The Owen Hart Women's Tournament Finals. You got Britt Baker taking on Ruby. So I just don't see Ruby winning. I think Britt's going to win. Britt is getting the Redemption Tour after losing the championship. And yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> like at, the, at certain points, you just kind of know. And you kind of just see where most of these turns are going. I would be shocked if Ruby wins being that Ruby is barely on TV for the most part. So I mean, I would, I would hope that if you win the Owen, uh, Owen Hart finals that you would actually get some more TV time, but I don't know. I don't, I don't see it happening. Uh, let's see. The TBS championship is online at double nothing. And it is Jay Cargill defending against Anna J. I don't see Anna J winning. Uh, I, we just saw this uh, matchup not too long ago, and I, I, I just I don't know who is going to be the one to take the title or even take the undefeated streak from Jade. I mean, if it's Anna, I wouldn't be surprised because she's been like she's been there since the early beginnings with the Dark Order and everything. But I, I just don't see it happening after already losing. I feel like the baddie section is going to interfere and cause Anna J to match with Anna J kind of going solo because Ty Con C is in her thing with Sammy. She's not going to be around to help out. So, yeah. I don't know. AW backed themselves in a pretty big hole because I don't know anybody that can really right now take out Jay Cargill that is on the roster because Jade is just on a phenomenal run. And whoever went, whoever takes all, whoever takes down Jay Cargill's undefeated streak is going to have to capitalize. You cannot have that happen and then put them back on dark. Like this has to be real. Now there is one scenario that I just thought about. The only way you could actually end this streak and actually help someone elevate. Here's the thought. You got Jay Cargill taking on Thunder Rosa, winner take all, both belts. That is the only way, that is the only possible way you can have Jade lose and it helps elevate the other person because Jade, no, not Jade, because Thunder Rosa needs another statement win because it's kind of just been downhill momentum wise for her after beating Britt Baker. So if she's able to one to take down Jade's undefeated streak, that would be awesome. I just, it just, it, she needs something. Her momentum, like, it's just not there. But I, I don't see Jade losing to Anna J. And speaking of Thunder Rosa, the next matchup that we're going to talk about is the AEW Women's Championship. You have Thunder Rosa taking, defending the title against Serena Deeb. I do not see Serena Deeb winning. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good match because they're both good workers. Um, 
So, yeah. Uh, I think Thunder Rose is going to get the win. Um, But it's just not going to... I feel like the momentum, like the energy that in a match with Jay Cargill is going to get, it's not going to be the same energy that Thunder Rose is going to get. And they're both, like Thunder Rose is a good wrestler. Serena Deeb is a good wrestler. It's just, it's going to be okay. It's going to be a solid match. But it's just going to be there. It's going to be okay. Um. Then last but not least, we've got... Uh, the AEW World Championship Hangman Adam Page defending the title against CM Punk. Whew. Um, I'd be shocked if CM Punk loses at the way that the momentum has been looking. Uh, Hangman Page has been kind of in the background as a world champion, which is kind of disappointing. Everybody loved the chase, but honestly. Yeah, I think the chase was more interesting than the actual run. I mean, granted, he's had some good matches. He's had some hard for like, you know, matches covered in blood and all that stuff. And the feud with Adam uh, Cole and the Texas death matches left and right. But, yeah. Like, CM Punk is right now the golden child for AEW, they are using him in the feature to open up every, almost every T, almost every dynamite. He is in the opening segment. So yeah, I would be surprised if you're gonna give, if you're not gonna give him the title, because you're already you're already showing that he is the face of your show. Even if he's coming out the commentary, he's getting the introduction in the start of the night. Hey, right after Bing Bagging Theory, he's right there. It's CM Punk. It's Cult of Personality playing. Hangman gets maybe a couple minutes segment at like the middle of the show. And you're like, okay, but no. CM Punk is their go-to guy right now. I feel like he's going to win it. It'll be a nice run for Hangman. I just feel like CM Punk's the bigger star for them at the moment and yeah man i feel like we got a new champ coming tonight ah but let me know in the comments what you, you think how you feel is gonna go um i think it's gonna be a good show no matter what there's certain matches i just i don't care for but i know they're gonna put on a show like that's one thing even if i'm here criticizing about uh criticizing wrestlers or their show or the product or whatever, I know these wrestlers are going to go out there and give it 110% because they're going to put their bodies in line. They're going to put on the best show possible. Some of them aren't able to put on, you know, a high quality matchup, even though they're going to try. And I respect that no matter what. So at the end of the day, it's going to be a good show. There's going to be a lot of people happy and satisfied. We don't know what's going on with MJF. We don't know if this is going to be a big problem later on or if this could be a really wild night or it could be almost nothing. It's going to be just really, 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 um, really dark, like a really awkward moment, but we'll see. Um, I'm looking forward to it. There's a bunch of matches I can't wait to see. There's a bunch of wrestlers I can't wait to see. There's, I know there's going to be some kind of surprise happening. They're in Vegas. They're going to get rowdy. They're going to do something. I can't wait to see what happens. And I'm ready. Hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Slap a like. Drop some predictions in the comments. Let me know how you feel. And I'll see you next time for another prediction show. And we'll probably do a little bit more reaction stuff over time, but we'll we'll keep it. We'll keep you up to date on healmarkets.com. That is it for me. Have a good one. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, spread love when you can. Mwah. I will see you guys next time. Peace.